Well, so far we've done um, solved equations, systems of equations using matrices. In this section, we're going to do something called matrix operations. I like to call it uh, matrix arithmetic. We'll be adding and subtracting and multiplying matrices. Now first, let's define what some people just call the size of a matrix. Uh, the preferable term, at least in our textbook, is the order of the matrix, but all of these words I will use interchangeably. The order, the dimension, the size or shape, and it's referenced as a number M by N, like a 4x4 four four truck. M by N. So it has M rows and N columns. So you need to remember what comes first. Rows comes first, so this would be M rows in columns. So if you had two by three, there would be two rows by three columns. And if M and N happen to be equal, that means that the number of rows is equal to the number of columns, and we call that type of a matrix a square matrix. You know, something like this, negative one, zero, four, three. This is a square matrix because it's two by two. Now there, there's a, you could have a three by three or a four by four or a hundred by a hundred. Those are all square matrices. Now here's a matrix that's not square. Um, given this one, what is the order or the size or the shape of this matrix? Well, it's the number of rows. I'll put the, that X multiplication kind of sign there. How many rows does this have? Remember rows go left to right. So there's one, two rows. And the number of columns, go, columns go up and down. So one, two, three columns. So this is a two by three matrix. Again, it's not square. It would be square if it were two by two or three by three. <clears throat> now, we frequently denote a matrix like this. When we don't really know what the uh, the elements of the matrix are the individual numbers. We might these you can think of these as little variables, where a one one would be the element in row one column one. I is the row number. J is the column number. Remember, row goes first, then columns. So um, let's let's use this matrix as an example. What is A11, the element in row one, column one? Well, row one means that row, and column one means that column. So it's this element right here, number five. A21, that means the second row, so the bottom row for this matrix, and the bottom row first column is two. Now A21, remember order matters here, row two, oops, this is exactly the same as this one, so let me change that to uh, two, two. A22 two, two means row two, column two. Row two, the second row, and the second column is this one. So it would be negative one half. And then A23 would be row two, bottom row, and the last column. Column three would be the element three. So go through them really quickly. This is A11, A12, A13. Row number one, A11, A12, A13. Now we go down to the second row. A21, A22, A23. All right, well, what does it mean for two matrices to be equal to each other? So if we have two matrices A and B, they're equal. Uh, this symbol means if and only if. I frequently put this on the board, IFF, -F, if and only if. They have the same order, which means that they have to be the same size or, or they could not possibly be equal to each other. Uh, order just means dimension or shape or size. And the corresponding entries are equal. So that's pretty much what exactly what you would, would expect. 
In other words, <clears throat> if A is an M by N matrix, then the matrix A is equal to B if and only if what? Well, B has to be the same size, so it has to be M by N as well. And every one of the corresponding terms, those pairs of ter numbers are equal to each other, which means AIJ is equal to BIJ. These are equal to each other, doesn't matter what I and J are, because it's the same I here and the same J here. These have to be equal to each other. And this just tells the, the limits of the variable I and J. I is the number of rows. The rows is M rows, right? So the first uh, variable, the first is the, represents the row number. So I can go from one to M. J goes from one to N, the number of columns. So let's do a real simple example. Let's say that these matrices are equal to each other. And right now we can't really tell if they are equal to each other. I'm saying if they are equal to each other, then what are X and Y, variables X and Y? <clears throat> well, first let's check some of the other ones. Notice that this one is equal to that one. In, they're in the corresponding spots. Notice this six in row two, column two is the same. So, so far we're great. Well, what would Y have to be <clears throat> if these matrices are equal to each other? It would have to be negative 1. So Y has to equal negative 1. And then the corresponding terms here would be negative 2 and X plus 2. We have to set X plus 2 and negative 2 equal to each other to find out what X is. So X plus 2 equals negative 2. We subtract 2 from both sides. And what does that give us? X equals negative four. <clears throat> so if those two, number, those two matrices are equal to each other, we know that Y is a negative one and X is a negative four. Okay, well let's dive into our first arithmetic operation. Two matrices can be added or subtracted if and only if they have the same dimension, the same size, the same order, the same shape. If they are not the same dimension, order, size, or shape, they cannot even be subtracted. So that tells you you can't just take any two matrices and subtract one from the other. They have to have the same size. And to add two matrices together, um, you simply add or subtract the entries in the corresponding positions. So to add, let me say, or subtract, two matrices, simply add or subtract the entries in the corresponding positions. So let's compute, given A and B here, let's compute A plus B and A minus B. Well, A plus B is equal to, and I'm just going to write these matrices down again, 0, negative 1, 2, 3, plus, and then B is negative 4, negative 6, negative 8, negative 10. So when we add them together, we just do corresponding terms. The 1, 1 entry, meaning row 1, column 1, that's this one, plus negative 4 gives us negative 4. Row 1, column 2, negative 1, negative 6 gives us negative 7. 2 and negative 8 gives us negative 6 and 3 and negative 10 gives us negative 7. So this matrix is A plus B, A and B added together. A minus B would be 0, negative 1, 2, 3, minus negative 4, negative 6, negative 8, negative 10, and all we're going to do is subtract instead of add. So be careful here. 0 minus negative 4 is 0 plus 4. Negative 1 minus negative 6 is negative 1 plus 6. Negative 1 plus 6 is 5. 2 minus negative 8 is 2 plus 8, which is 10. 
and three minus negative 10 is three plus 10, which is 13. So that is A minus B. So I'll circle A plus B and A minus B. So the important thing is to remember you can only add or subtract uh, two matrices if they're the same size. And then all you do is either add or subtract corresponding entries.